Welcome back to another episode of Custom Car Media, hosted by TNT. I'm Terry. I'm Twin. Today we got a special guest, X. What's happening, everybody? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Xavier, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Who, who are you? What kind of car uh, you drive? Well, I'm X. Simple. You see me out. I am nobody special to me, but uh, just a normal guy. I drive a 80 Monte Carlo. Uh, on switches, so Wait, what's your setup? I have a whammy setup with six batteries. So whammy setup is basically two pumps mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for one. I share oil out of one tank. Okay. Okay. Is That's there is there a reason why you went that route? Um, well, I look a lot into California setups. Okay. Um, everybody has a normal three, four pumps. Me, whammy is simple. It's here. Yeah. I got space. I can mm -hmm. add. Speakers, I can add this and that. It's just cleaner to me. Oh, you want to have your holes? You still have some of your trunk left out. Yeah, I got. Oh, I got plenty of space. I there's, there's a lot more I want to do, but you know, I can get a chance to play around in it. You know? Okay, how many switches you got with that setup? I have four switches. Uh, front, back, corner, corner. So mm. just so I, I'm actually going to change it next week. So so okay. Yeah. What, what's the change? Uh, I'm I'm getting rid of corner, corner because I really don't. I don't play with the corners too much. Uh, I'm adding pancake, so the car just slams right, down, down, slams back up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm adding seesaw, it just yeah. Oh, why? When you're just, riding on the freeway and you, and you get the, so yeah. why not just hit a switch and you just yeah. yeah. Oh, it's perfect. What's, what's your uh, what's your ultimate setup that you would want in that low rider? Like if you could just in this one, not uh, necessarily this one. Any okay. anything. Well, well let's just say this one. This okay. one, I just it's a cruiser. I just get out Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. Don't matter what day. It's simple. I just like a simple setup. Just up down. That's it. That's mm -hmm. all I need. I don't need to be wow wow. It does it, but I don't need to do all that. So do you do you do your own work to your car? Um, here and there. I, I'm still learning. I've been low riding for the past four or five years now. So there's I ask questions all day long. Uh, main, my main thing, I don't touch anything electrical. I, uh, <laughs> nah, I, I'll do the work, but electrical, you can miss me with that. But body work, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Paint, I'll do it. You know, yeah. I, I'm a type to learn. Like, if you have knowledge, you want to teach me, I'll get out there and do it. Okay. okay. If I mess up, <laughs> hey, yeah, TNT, I that. need you. <laughs> <laughs> Call it for a friend. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Why, out of all the car worlds, why the lowrider scene for you? Um, it goes way back. Like enlighten me. All right, uh, <clears throat> let me get a little choked up. It's from my my homie who passed away. Uh, I used to go to a lot of block parties. You know, Fifth Ward, Homestead here and there. You see slabs. It's right. I'm yeah, not trying to be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a black culture. But me, one day we was just like, man, what's up on the lowrider scene? I was like, bro, I've never seen a lowrider a day in my life. Uh, I met a few guys off Facebook. Hey, come to Irvington. This is where we at. And then, boom, it took off. For me, I wasn't looking for a car. Was, it pretty much literally landed in my lap. I was mm -hmm. at work one day, and, uh, hey, we got this. He said it was a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> we get out there to Texas City. It's not a Cadillac, man. He was like, load it up, take it home. Load it up, take it home? What that mean? He just gave it to you? That's the story. What? Yeah. It's like, take it. You ain't that wow. lucky. That, so, nobody believes me when I tell that story, but that's how it happened. Like, So how did it look when you got it? I was, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was blue. The interior, like, you literally, you touch it, and it, was, it crumbles. Oh, really? They wow. spray painted the dash. You know, they was trying to keep it together, but, mm -hmm. nah, I, I did some things. I did some things to it, but uh, we took it to the backyard that night, and it was like, if it starts, I'm keeping it. It's not. We partnered it out, you know. Mm -hmm. It was out there two, three hours. <clears throat> All right, load it back up. Let's take it to my house. So yeah, is it, the way it's running now is you haven't done anything under to the thing, under, th under the hood, I haven't touched anything. Oh, I've changed the water pump and added a bigger radiator. And that's it. That's it. 
And you, as much as you drawing, because I see you out in the city ah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, I've you, done nothing under the hood. Nothing. I had wow. a new battery. Off, off a free card. Hey, free money. You take it. <laughs> you take it. <laughs> right you can't on. say That's no. Story right yeah. There. yeah. Yeah. So you wasn't even necessarily looking for a Monte Carlo. You wasn't. I looking wasn't looking for nothing. Really? Nothing. The guy just call it's, you and tell you to come load it up. It. Man, hey, I'll come. I'm on my way. You ain't got to tell me twice. Right. And where was it at? Texas City. The, the, the land of salt. Get, <laughs> down there by Galveston. Yeah. Oh, you were, okay, way yeah, down there. Okay. way out there. It took me about an hour and a half leaving work. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, girl, I, I got an emergency at the house. I got to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, since you've been in the lowrider scene, is this it for you as in the car world? Like, I don't want to no, be in. this is not it. We got one more at the house for my wife. Uh, it's a 90 Cadillac. Broham. It's not a conversion. Mm. Why 90? That one, too, landed in my lap. Yeah, well, you can't just keep yeah, landing in your lap here. Yeah, right now. <laughs> no, this is what happened. All right, that car, uh, I saw the car for sale. I looked past it. Everybody said, oh, that's too much, you know, this and that. And the price dropped. Oh, that's still too much. He parted it out. Why? I don't know. A friend of mine got it. He was like, hey, you, I got that car if you want it. I was like, it's not up to me. Let me ask her. I was like, you know, I got to ask for permission. <laughs> she was like, go get it. I was like, you sure? She was like, yeah, just go get it. I was like, we really don't have space, but I'll make space. We get there. I was like, fire it up. Before he turned it all the way over for him, I was like, let's go. Yeah, load it up. I don't need to see nothing else. Let's go. Now, how long have you been working on that one? That one's been on the back burner. Oh, man. It's been about a eight months now mm-hmm. so far uh i'm doing i'm actually doing all the work myself to this one okay i'm challenging myself on this one okay uh i've done all the body work already it's, it's back in primer as of two three days ago the mm-hmm. interior has been sent off already halfway done the trunk setup is done it's painted what setup you going with in there <sighs> i'm in between okay i'm thinking a four pump setup which is a lot of power. Four pumps, eight to twelve batteries. For your wife? Yeah. Well, why you why, why, why what, hers out doing yours? My car is just a it's not that important to me. It's mm-hmm. it's just a car to me. Hers is I feel like she's she's earned it like she deserves yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, why not? You know, you're the first I wouldn't say the first, but one of the very few female riders out. And to me, since I'm doing everything, I want it to be a statement of, hey, X can build a car. He got, you. He got this. Mm-hmm. That one's, yeah, that's going to be all my name on Unless I need a little help here and there, you know. Mm-hmm. We all need help. But right. That yeah. one is going to be fully me. Uh, I, look in, I look a lot in California for ideas. Mm-hmm. I look a lot like, in Japan. Oh, my God. Who Like who in Japan? Is there any names? Well, I or can't any... say their names. I don't. I don't know. That's a lot of low riders in Japan. What about the Japan style? Are you liking? Is it the color pattern? No, is the, it the their the engineering setting? is everything they do overseas is always ahead of us. Mm-hmm. And I've seen things just like, well, if he does this, the car does this, and I'm just like, oh. I've seen cars sit like flat, like they're on bags, you know. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, okay, what did he? I can't have conversations with them. They all don't speak English, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> I catch glimpses off YouTube. They pop the truck and I'm screenshot. Okay, what is this? What is mm-hmm. that? You know? Yeah, trying to I mean, figure yeah, out and map out what the puzzle yeah. was. That's yeah. all. Mm-hmm. Everything's a puzzle piece. So this is going to be a photo car or two Yes, this is a four door car. I uh-huh. wish I had a two door. I would uh-huh. I'd sell mine for a two door right now. What but she's it? not She's what? not for sale. Yeah, I was just going <laughs> to say. I thought I seen it. it was, was, I mean, I tested the market because G Body prices are. Through the roof right now. The roof. And, you know, I put it out there. I've got a couple good offers. Not what I felt it was worth, but mm-hmm. I had a couple guys. I, so just, somebody I stopped came, checking messages. If somebody came with the right number. Yeah. It's not it's not that piece that's in the garage that man, I know my son gonna have to have this. Yeah. Well for him it's gonna be totally different. I I would love to keep that car, but it's just a car, you know. Mm-hmm. You always wanna elevate yourself. You wanna move mm-hmm. up. Yeah. So what's, what's, that? That, what's that one car that you, yeah, yeah, I knew the question was coming. What's that one I, car I you? I have a couple. I have at least three. There's, there's the 59 Apache, the long bed. Mm-hmm. I have the 61 Impala, uh, bubble top. 
And two door? Uh, two door. Has to be. Nothing four door comes in the house. Oh. Um, that's another one. I'll take a 96 SS. I'll take a... But that's a four door. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, 59 El Camino. Okay. Why the 59? You don't see them too often. Yeah. And... To me, El, El Camino is a quick you build. You see the 71, but 72. I, I, I love the rear end, how yeah. the cat eyes. And the cat eyes. That's lines, a lot of body lines, lines, you know. Laid over yeah. wings. It's, it's just so much it's going on on that vehicle it's that you can't. Perfect. It's hard to not love it. I, I actually, that's one reason why I put my car on the market. I was talking to a guy. He had one for sale. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I, I could sell my car tomorrow. I'm on my way. I'll come get it. Two hours later, oh, I sold the car. I was like, there's no way. In two hours, we just had a conversation. You did not sell this car. Mm-hmm. I was like, you you found somebody who was like real interested. Now you know the value of it. Yeah. You're going to hold on to it. Eh, they come and go. You know, I'll find it when I find it. And so that was the, that's the top of the car. Yeah, for you. yeah. After that, man, nah, I'm not looking for nothing. Are these going to be all lowrider style or uh, power? Or how- the 59 Apache would be a, a lowrider. El Camino would be a low rider. The other one, not so much. Just the, keep it stock. Yeah, you know, keep its value. And then on the on the on the SS on the ninety six, it's ninety six, uh, ninety five, ninety four. Which color? Uh, it has to be black. Why the black? Black is beautiful. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is black. Black is a good color for a car. You get to see lines and imperfections. You know, yeah. some people don't like it, but. You know? Yeah, if you put black on there, you know it's got to be done Perfect. right. Yeah, it's got to be done right. But that one, because I had a I had a black cherry '96, and that was the Perfect, man. the black cherry that that maroonish color to it. That was a- the actually what movie, all about the Benjamins is what really made me like it. Like, yeah, book them. You know, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I you think know? that movie got everybody. Yeah. I think that's what got me yeah. into it. And then I found out the oh the '96 is like the cream of the crop because it's yeah. got the floor shifter. I didn't want no 94, oh, 95 after that point. Man, that thing's amazing. I, so, I, I like it. So do you do your work at home in the shop? It, I everything mean, I do is at home. Do you take customer cars? I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure the people As of know. last year, I've done five cars. I painted fully, ground up two cars. The rest mm-hmm. was just body work here and there. Um, This year, I'm taking it a little bit slow. Like I'm, I'm still learning things, you mm-hmm. know, pressure on guns, yeah. colors. Yeah, the whole science behind yeah, it. Know, it. So, are you trying to take a little step back to figure out the puzzles yeah, and the pieces to all of this? Yeah, I'm pretty much step back. I've taken little small jaws, fingers here and there. Something yeah. simple, but I want to. Me, I want to learn how to pin strike. I don't mm-hmm. have a steady hand. I want to learn how to do murals. I, you know, or like, airbrush murals and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. I, I like I like to mess stuff up and figure out what I did wrong. You know? Yeah. Okay. So you want to be more self-taught. I ain't trying to go yeah. nowhere. Just go if, ahead and try it. And if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Yeah. You know, I, I'll go to a professional here and there. But hey, you know, at the same time, if I do something wrong, tell me. You know, this is just like life. If I do something wrong, correct me. Mm-hmm. You know, you have your way. I have my way. But I'm all about learning. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what this game is that's about. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So you going to be spraying candy? <laughs> Personally. Last name Bell, y'all. Um, I, I don't like candy. Uh, tell me about it. I, uh, I'm a flake, guys. Have you seen flake at night? Yeah. Oh I, I, God. I, I, <laughs> the way it dances. Yes. Like a certain angle and just like. Candy, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a cool, color. yeah. So, but yeah. at night, oh, it's perfect. Yeah, because I can see, like, if you close your eyes and look at the the perfect yeah, metallic you, paint, goes chopping on that light. It, it don't even dancing. have to be metallic. It could be a regular base. I throw some flake on. I'll, I'll dump a whole can of flake in. I'm like, hey, are you flake it. you like the smaller flakes or heavier flakes? I like small flake. Small okay. flake to me, it, they dance a lot better. It's it lays so good, and mm-hmm. like you said, it dances nice. Big so, flake is cool, so, so we should expect to see flakes on the bro hand. More pearl. Mm. I'm gonna go heavy pearl. Uh, there's I don't want to say too much, but there's a couple things I do want to do. I want to try to get him out. Yeah, nah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> try to get the secret out. Nah, there's a couple things I, I will, since I'm doing it, I want to I want to play in. 
What's what's the one thing that you can leak about it that you can let me know? It's pink. Nice. Who these boys be tight with these stuff? Boy. Nice. It's pink. That's it. it. It's pink. I, okay. I, I like pink cars. You know, I don't. Rim wise. Thirteens, of course. Who Thir- stamp? Uh, Dayton. Nah, I'm not Dayton money. Me, I don't care. Everybody's in the Dayton China. So. As long mm-hmm. as it roll, I don't care. You don't care. As long they don't. As long as they don't break, I'm mm-hmm. fine. You don't care yet. You got to be knockoffs though. Has to be. Okay. Has to be. Mm-hmm. Cross lace seventy two. No straight lace. I just, it's okay. typical. I like so I have cross lace to, on mine. Everything that I've heard from you is it's it's got to be a little bit different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, it, not it too many guys be... ride cross lace. Mm-hmm. Everybody honey spoke. Ah, that's you know that's cool. That's your flavor. Me, yeah. What is it about the cross lace though? Is it is it just the fact of the pattern, or it is, or, it's, or it's all the just the fact that it's just different? It's the pattern to me. I, I just like the. Mm-hmm. I just like how it looks when you're yeah. rolling. It's, oh man, it's clean. Honey spokes is mm, it's just not me. Yeah, it's not me. So on an average, on an average week, how much ride time do you think you put in between? <sighs> More than everybody out here. <laughs> God. So you you saying it like that for yeah. low riding world of just cruising in, and being out? Ain't in, nobody in general. I don't much street time. I don't. No, nah, I don't think so. Me, uh, that's my stress reliever. Mm-hmm. I'll get in and go and just... yeah, because every almost every day I look on your page, you, if you I got gotta... something going on in your car. Either you playing with it yeah. or you you out riding. If if I gotta go to the corner store, the other cars in the driveway, I'm taking mine. If it's just a two minute ride, I'm taking it. Just That's what I have it for. Is it a show every time you're taking it, or is it? It's a. <laughs> I the one thing that happened to me, which it kind of freaked me out. A cop got behind me, and I was like, he's about to pull me over. He didn't. He pulled right on the side, rolled his window down. He's like, nah, I've never seen a low rider before in my life. What? I was like, Mm. my heart just, (laughs) please don't. You know, I don't have time for you pulling me over. I got somewhere to be. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, man, this is real nice. And I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. You know, you people appreciate it when they see it. My best memory was a little kid. I'm going 45 South. And I can see him, like, he's looking and like, man, what is that? Uh, you can see what, you, you yeah. can almost feel what he, he like. Yeah, and uh, I tap the front switch and the car goes up. He was just like. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the enjoyment for me, you know? Yeah, when they say hit it, hit it, hit yeah, it, hit it. it. What, Sometimes I'm more like, hey, I'm just chilling, you know, I'm just riding. What's the perfect, uh, what's the perfect cruise night for you? Like, ride scenario, whole breakdown of that. Downtown is out of everywhere you can you can think of downtown is beautiful at night just this is street lights bro it's, it's you just sit back you turn your music and you just you just go mm-hmm. uh, we hit west timer sometimes it's cool but there's nothing like downtown here yeah mm-hmm. it's it's perfect for me downtown lights or gas station lights uh, <laughs> I think gas station. station. I'm gonna say gas station. Gas those, station all day. Preferably Valero. Valero. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Valero. Yeah. I, I, I need some sponsorship from Valero. Yeah. I take yeah. free gas for six months. That's cool. I don't, yeah. Not too much. Yeah. So where where could we find like a bunch of lowriders? You know, just hanging out. That's a little difficult. Well, no, nah, I'm not gonna even knock them like that. Yeah. It's spur the moment type things. I, I mainly ride with two people who I, I know just come to the house. Hey, let's go. Let's go get tacos. Okay. Uh, shout out to Abraham and Ever. You know, they're, okay. they're my boys. Okay. Like shout anything out. I go through, they're there. Like those, those are friends you can really count on. Them. Yeah, yeah. Like I, there's been times I've been like, man, I you know I really need some help. I don't understand what I'm doing. And before we hang up the phone, he's boom, boom, boom. I hear him beating down the block. He's coming. It's like, man. That's I dope. appreciate it. Yeah. They uh, drive low riders too, I imagine. Um, Ever has a Regal working on and that thing is going to be amazing. So I, I, I need uh, to figure out how to get him in the shop? Yeah. that He should be really be next. He's a young so, kid. What's his name again? Ever. Ever, Ever? Mendoza. I'm going to say his whole name. So we're going to get him in the shop? Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, you you on the line. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, he's, you on the line. He's about 
16, 17, and that kid, he he knows his stuff. Oh, really? a young kid. Yes. Wow. He's taught me a lot, a lot. Um, Abraham, that's been that's been my dog. And what kind of do we have? A he car? has a eighty five Monte Carlos on bags. Yeah. What color is it? It's a factory like baby bluish. Okay, yeah, I you've think, seen a few I, I times in my few... store. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like those. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, always ride. Yeah, there's there's no if ands or buts. There's one and two. Mm-hmm. You see me post anything on Instagram? It's, please, it's please, be please tell a few. Yeah, yeah. At last name Bell. You know, you can follow me if you want. You can be nosy. I see. You. <laughs> but yeah. And don't forget to hit the share, like, and comment yeah, button at course. the end of this video too, y'all. Hey. All right. Uh, recently, uh, you know, I got the Cadillac, and I'm I'm looking for parts. You know, I I don't care where I'm buying it from. This guy in Florida. I'm not too familiar with all the Cadillac parts. So I was like, well, this is trim in the back by the window. It's this is that. He was like, well, yeah, it's a six piece. I was like, well, to me, it was like, it's just one whole piece. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm used to G bodies. Like, all the pieces are pretty simple. He was like, oh, a G body. He was like, man, uh, that's a kid's car. It's like, well, what? What does that have to do with being a kid's car? I mean, a car is a car. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't like, know oh, they designated cars to kids. It's like, <laughs> I, my first car was a G-Body when I was 12. I was like, well, okay, good for you. You know, uh, you have this part or not. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I wanna... don't discredit me because I have a G-Body. Like, yeah. it's a car to me. Like, yeah, I it, wouldn't have thought that about the G-Body world. Oh, yeah. uh, it's, yeah. it's a lot. Like me, uh, I didn't pick a G-Body. The G-Body chose me. Yeah. And then I guess the next question would be is what – what could you see the lowrider scene needing improvement on in, in the Houston area? Is it just needing to be more guys out there in the to, scene? Or to, is... to me, out here in the Houston scene, I, everybody works, so you can't pretty much just put it on like, we need to ride every weekend. Yeah. Me, personally, I, I would love for all of us one designated spot and we're together. We're, we're riding together instead of south side on the south side, north mm. side on the north side. You know I, you just want to leave. I, I just like coming together, and we're all riding together. Right. You know, Unity. Th- those are those are memories that you just. Those are good memories to me. Like that's a lot. Yeah. My my son grew up in my car, basically. Yeah, because you know? he always with you. Every time I see you posting, it you now <laughs> now he's it's just, to him it's just like ah. Uh, oh, it's an everyday thing. It's so yeah. much. It ain't fun no more. Yeah. But then I take him to new things. Like lately, I've been around the stance cars. And, Explain that. The wheels where they're all negative cam- cam- camber. Oh man, I don't, like what's I'm the- intrigued. Like, okay, how you do this and what's this? What if you mm-hmm. know? He was like, there's a couple guys. He's like, I'm building a low rider, but everything is going the opposite way. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. I had a guy explain to me about his control arms. It was my my control arms are extended two inches out. So what's the point of that? Uh, it's a bulldog. You ever see a bulldog? He's yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you see a car coming down the street, and he's just, it's got more of an aggressive look. Yeah, it, it looks it looks better to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the camber thing, he was like, "Yeah, I got negative something something." I was like, "What?" It's like, "Yeah, that's why my wheels go this way instead of." Out yeah, this yeah, way, they're not know? bowled out. So I say, so technically, you don't have a control on. He was like, nah, "In a way, no." I was mm-hmm. like, "Okay." Yeah. And, and is that just a style for him, or is that's, it just that's the whole complete style? Mm-hmm. Like they have, they have some nice builds. Yeah, and is this in the U the state scene, or is this this over uh, that that is a Japan type thing, mm-hmm. and it's just you know migrated over here and. But what kind know? of cars you mainly see like that? <sighs> you get a bunch of Lexuses, BMWs. Oh, you get a, I know where yeah. you're talking about now. Yeah. I'm thinking he's still in the lowrider scene, no. but you're talking about more in the bag scene. Ah, uh, that's yeah. to them. That's a disrespect. Oh, my fault. Explain and that. I learned the same way. Explain that to me. Bags, you know, you you get the all the way down. They don't. No, I I need I need everything that's under this car, and I'm going to modify it, and I'm going to make it sit lower. Okay. Instead so, of cheating my way through and just dropping bags on it, I'm, I'm oh, laying. So they modify them to sit like that. Yes. Oh, so they're not achieving this through bags. They're on a regular suspension yes. still. Yes. And oh, so this is full and, time. Oh, oh that's man. why it's called stands. Because it's, it's, full, it's full time. Yes. And okay. I, hmm. I'm slowly gravitating. Towards that? Yeah. It's, it's something new. Something mm-hmm. learned, you know. Hmm. 
you know, I like to learn. Yeah. It's so would new. that would that gravitation move you completely out of the low rider no, world, or is it just another scene to get in? It's, it's, it's more it's car another, stuff. It's another car for the uh, wife to be mad about. <laughs> Did she know about this shit? Mm, now she does. <laughs> yeah. So what would that car be if you if you went on uh, the stand side? What is that that cream? To it has to car? be a Lexus. I can't. I don't. Ninety four, ninety five. I don't know the model, but uh, what it's is one that? of the, the bigger ones. The, yeah. uh, is it the LS five hundred? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be that car because those me, things run forever too, man. They don't. Yeah. They, they just last, and they got. They do have that best they dance do, and get them t- that it, the rim tucked up in there the right way. It's it's perfect <laughs> for me because I, my legs are a little bit longer in the G body. I get a little tired. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm slouched over a little bit. Yeah, you got to do that G body yeah. slouch over the steering wheel it's, when you ride. It's <laughs> automatic. Like every picture I see myself in, I'm like this. I, I think it's natural. Like it's, it may be like I, I a magnet think, in that steering wheel or something. I can't something. sit back. And, so it doesn't feel right for me. I got to be up on it. I need to feel. I need to feel every bump. Mm-hmm. Ah, you got to be dipping with the car. Like on the way here, it's, it, it's perfect. I've seen guys like, oh look, he's. Mm-hmm. It's perfect for me. Yeah, good three it's, four hours in a day. It's a good nap after. <laughs> yeah. So so go back to this 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 Lexus. Yeah. That would you would you take that low rider vibe that you got and put it into that world, or if, will you be straight that world? If the if I were to do it, uh, I I'll incorporate some stance, some low rider, and a little bit of slab into it. Hmm. What, what, it, what element of the slab would you incorporate? Yeah. Yeah. Music, <laughs> <laughs> a little pop trunk here and there. Okay. Um, probably that'll be it. a lot of music. I, I'm not really into music, but I, I think a good slap and trunk and that'd be nice. Did you incorporate the slab in any into your low rider that you have now? Um, maybe the interior, maybe a uh, diamond stitching. That's diamond stitching is always the way to go to me. Wow. I, just looks nice. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it looks good. I wanted to do on hers, but it's her car. But I wanted to do honeycomb stitching. Yeah, I, I do like the honeycomb stitching. I, I haven't seen nobody out here with honeycomb stitching, so that's one thing I wouldn't mind having some honeycomb in the Lexus. In a Lexus. Okay. It's a little little I see wood it. grain pieces here mm-hmm. and there. So what are you riding on now? Seventy-two inch cross lace. Uh, it's a must. Anything, I don't care what it is. Has white walls, bones. white walls. My my main rule is keep your white walls clean. I don't care how dirty your car is. <laughs> your white walls need to be clean. It's it's, it's a necessity. Yes. Do you prefer white walls over Vogue's, or it doesn't matter to you? If they made Vogue's and Thirteens, I would have them. Mm-hmm. Vogue's is a a Houston thing. Yeah. It's like riding on swingers. You can't have them without. The mustard in the mail. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. seen guys ride around on swingers with no Vogues, and that's a no-no. They don't look right. Oh, you can't do that. It's, it's like it's like putting makeup over bumps. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, just just rock it, leave yeah, it out here. No, in. that's be no. natural. Yeah, you know. Now I hear you talk about the slab world a lot. Is that a yeah, that's level of build that you would want to get to one that's, day. That's where I came from. I, okay. That's oh man, but I came back before the, all these new guys. They want to do donuts on swingers. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, man. man. Oh, no, that's a so, so that what, too is a no no. Stop doing that. So that's, what's your what's your favorite slap? Like set up the whole nine. Um, if I had a choice, there's a couple. Hmm. Of course, the L dog. You gotta have the. <laughs> Hold you on. have to. What year? Seventy six. Wow. Wow. I didn't, I thought you was gonna say like an eighty four. Nah, nah. Seventies. Uh, to me, slabs should be seventies, eighties. No, I gonna 90s. say the nineties. I don't like the slab. Nah, yeah. No, okay. You get more modern, but like this Caprice right here. That's a slab to me. Mm-hmm. Older cars are slabs. No, <laughs> the ones with the curves and. Hips okay. and those are slaps to me. Yeah, so you like something that's got a good body line yeah. to it, and not just a block. Yeah, it's it's boring. It's like it's a boring car. <laughs> so what 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 our cars c- could be like? You know, saying dunks to have the 70, 70, 
71 through 75 caprices and polars. That's, that's a dunk, considered a dunk. What a, all could, could be considered a low rider? Or, yeah. yeah. To me? Ooh, that's, that's, I got my personal opinion on it. I don't know. That's a hard question. Everybody has their own thing. Like me, I, I don't know if a lot of my homies <laughs> on Facebook is going to watch this, but I like the 90s stuff. I, I bag on it a lot. Opposite of that. I, I bag on it a lot. It's because I had this conversation too with somebody else. It's because I want you to talk about it. That way I can picture you mm-hmm. and like, okay, this is how you build it this way in the 90s. Like I, I like some of the Hondas from the 90s. I think that's, the Euros are they're yeah, nice to me. That was when I kind of fell out of love with the lowrider scene. Is when the 90s cars started coming around. I like them. Tilt beds, I, I love them. Yeah, now tilt Trucks. beds, that got me because of it was so different. Like it wasn't, it wasn't something that you've seen all the time. It, like when the bed is moving and doing what it needs to do, it was another aspect, another dynamic to it to me. That if if I could have one, I would. With of year course. year make model, I'm not sure. As long as I want to say a Toyota or a Mazda. Yeah, yeah, because the Toyotas is the ones I used to always see yeah. at the lowrider shows. Yeah. And, like you just sitting at the light, oh, it's a normal truck. And the bed oh, gets to move and doing it, yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. like somebody's I, building one, and Slim, I can't <laughs> wait for you to bring that thing out. Like, that thing's gonna be nice. Nice, nice. Uh, you say that Impala is the creme de la creme yeah, of the low rider. To though. everybody else, me, I don't care what it is. Yeah, just, just ride. Do you like the Impala? Fifty-eight. Through sixty one, that's it. The fifty eight is dope. <laughs> that's that's it for that, me. The fifty eight does have to me got the best body lines out of that, that uh, range. Which one got better? Uh, I like the sixty two. Which one got the better body? Sixty two is it's it's nice too. Uh, I I just love the sixty. That the one fifty nine nice. and the sixty. Those those are the two. I, I always liked the the fifty eight. I think it was just the. It's like how you said it, it's unique and it's got the most unique body lines out of all of them and they didn't repeat it. Yeah. It's it's and, not another fifty eight. And and Paula guys got it easy. They can go through a catalog. And click order. Me, I've I've driven hours for parts. For your for your G body? Yes. That's a that's a lot of guys who hide cars in their backyard and they will sit. I Let me it. have it. I will put it together. Okay. Or me. <laughs> you know, I'll put it out there. Mm-hmm. I've driven to Mixia, Texas, for seats. That's almost two hours. Not, not in your low ride. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't. I'll make it. The way my, my tuck is set up, my, I need tires by as soon as I get back. Oh, uh, no, sir. I, I've driven to all the way Highway 6 and for I-10. Sat for about 10 minutes, went all the way to Baytown. Came back home, was like, I need tires. And how much does set of tires cost? The tire I run is Tiger Paw, and they're getting extinct. Mm. They took them off the market, so I'm like, oh, I love the way they're, how they're rounded there. They just look nice to me. Mm-hmm. My tires, about 300. And how often do you think you'd be going through Just tires? the front two tires, I change... Depends how much I'm riding. The max of I just ridden out two months. I need two new front tires. Jesus Christ! So you got to be dedicated to this car, this yeah, low rider scene to be staying out there like it's this. It's not cheap. You go the cheap route is when stuff messes up, and you're not so, gonna like it. <clears throat> have you done any frame reinforcement or uh, anything like that on your setup? Actually, the reinforcement is going to be done in a couple of weeks by Ever, one of my homies. Mm-hmm. He he goes to welding school and. He's like, let me try it. He has, mm. <laughs> he has a complete frame. He's welded himself at home. Hmm. You, is it something you can tell me about on that frame? I almost say he's gonna have one of the highest lockups in Houston. Okay, like Cali style lockup. I like think dumb high. I think when he's done, I don't think nobody's gonna have his lockup. Explain to me what the lockup lock is, because I'm, I'm kind of okay. The way there. the way my car is set up in the rear, I have 16 inch cylinders. Mm-hmm. The front, everybody has eights or they have sixes. Mine in the rear has 16s. 
Um, I have a slip yoke. I have drop mounts. I have extended lower and and upper control, upper control arms. What's the point of the uh, the slip yoke? The slip yoke lets the the drive shaft basically, you know, as the car go up, my my drive shaft's pretty much in place. Oh, okay. Um, I I, I want to go higher, but it's it's more of a headache. Now I have to move my speakers a certain inside oh. so the cylinders can go all the way up. Do they got to come through the uh, the speaker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the cylinder have to actually come all the way up through there. It doesn't go all the way up there, but you'll hit it. You'll hit the speaker if you okay. don't measure it correctly. You'll mm-hmm. hit it. Like now, sometimes I, I hit it here and there. But I want to go a little higher. I want to run. What's, what's higher to you? I want to run. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna you don't want to tell the truth. At least 18s. Mm. A little bit higher. Man. They, they, oh, telescopics. Oh, those things. You can run 30 inches. So that's roughly in where your homeboy going to? <sighs> higher. What? Yeah. Is he trying to compete? No, it, or it's is... not a compete thing. It's just what he likes. Okay. His car, his rear end literally, with my car locked up, his rear end sits on top of mine. So that's how high he is. So do we have to do all the chain reinforcing yeah, yeah. and all of that all stuff? All that. Me, I don't like chains. Mm. I think you should know your setup to where you don't need chains. So what's the point of the chains? What, what it is... stops you. Like, okay, this is your, your limit before you break something, basically. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay, I see. Because so, that's why when you're going up, you keep kind of slowly tapping it yeah, a little I, bit. Yeah, I tap my... I, uh, there's been times I held it because I just know how high I can go. Mm-hmm. I have blue seals here and there. They're a quick 10 minutes to fix if you like to be full of oil. Uh, so what happens when you blow a seal? Like, is it oil all over the trunk? No, or is... you pretty... The last one I popped, no, everything was still inside. It was cool. I just had to break the pump down. Oh, okay, so you got to pull your whole setup out. Yeah, pull the whole setup out, which is, which is sometimes which I regret the uh, the whammy because I have to pull that thing is heavy, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that mm-hmm. thing is heavy with oil. Mm-hmm. You pretty much you got all that, which was if I had one pump, I'd have been fine. It took me ten minutes to break it down. It's gonna take me fifteen to pull it out. Oh, okay. That's how heavy, That's it, how heavy is. it is. Do you need <laughs> yeah. help pulling it out? Type heavy or is nah, it? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it's just yeah, awkward. Yeah, it's just. You literally, the last time I did, I literally sat in the trunk, unbolted it, and just like stepped out the trunk, you know? Mm-hmm. I tell you, about eight years ago, I had a 75 Caprice convertible. I had it over at Shorty's, and I think off North He's... Main. Gonna do some hydraulics to it. And man, I sold the car before I got it out, but I was, I was gonna, I was this close to Why? getting it Why to would you? Why would you sell a drop? Oh, uh, I, I had a convertible uh, Baritz too at the time. So, and I was working on the both for two. You know, it was like two childhood cars that I wanted. I mean, and I just went with the Baritz. I painted and finished the, the Caprice too now, but I didn't get to bring it out. Before I can bring it out, they bought it off of me. So, I mean, it was like a, the dude took it, took the drivers off of it. And, what made you want to get into that scene? Yeah. Uh, man, I, I actually, your car you got, I, I've been crazy about them cars since I was a kid. I mean, my friend named Condre had one growing up, a slab one. I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember a gold with a white top with through a motion on it. My friend named Willie Walls put one together, a red one about five, six years ago, a convertible one with hydraulics on I mean, it's, just, it's, it's, ah. it's cars like that. When I was when I was growing up, they didn't have the hydraulics. <laughs> they had to cut the springs. You from Houston, you right? Cut the springs and you throw yeah, French uh, blocks. Antenna, throw <laughs> blocks in the top. You know, the back seat maybe have about twenty to thirty six by nines. Uh-huh. In it. I think you that know, stuff that, like that. That car is still out, actually. Yeah, my friend, my friend got one right now. Kevin Kennard. Kevin Shout Red. out to Kevin Kennard. He got one the same, uh-huh. almost yeah, identical out. color really? to, to his on Swangles, right now. This day on the streets, man. My first slab was seeing uh, Stupid Tim. Yeah. Oh. Shout out, when I was, Tim. Shout out, shout out, shout out Stupid Y'all got to let me know. When, when I was out. little. Uh, Who are these people we talking about? Yeah, uh, slab riders. When I stayed in Northwood Manor, I always used to hear boom, boom. Okay, boom, so boom, boom, boom. Boom. Northwood Manor. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. um, I think at the time he had a, a wagon. Oh, man. I it was can't orange. Remember. Yes. Yes. What, do you know the year, what kind of wagon uh, that was? It was like a, I don't want to say Caprice, like the, the, the 9.5. Really? Right, yeah. yeah. 
And that was, was that was my first. All his cars was on. So all his mm-hmm. cars was on. Yeah, theme going. And that was, was the first car. person that, that kind was, of that first was slab you seen, or that yeah. was the first slab I've ever seen. Like oh, where I, around that time, that's when all the jacking and yeah, that's when and we stayed right by the field. So we'll any any morning get up. Oh man, there's a car back there. It's red. It's a soft side car. They yeah. just stripped it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was, that's, I was probably like that's that's five, that was the turnoff about slab riding back then. That it, you know you can come out of the store, come out of the mall, and your car gone. Uh-huh. But now they make the rims, so it's an abundance to where it saves a lot of lives now. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. shout out to slab riders. Mm-hmm. The low rider scene. Had, I mean, I haven't heard anything negative. Uh, jacking and oh, none of that. Is that just because he, it's not that popular of a thing? Uh, that's what I yet. think it is, too. Yeah. God forbid anything happens to anybody. But no. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to say it's rare, but you don't see a, yeah. see a low rider too often. Hmm. It's, it's, a, it's like an underground street thing. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, a low rider? What's that? You know, I've had I, guys ask me, oh, is, is it on bags? I was, I was like, don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, nah, it's not on bags. It's on hydraulics. It's like, oh, for real? I'm like, yeah, it's on what, hydraulics. What other, what city outside of like Cali do you think got a pretty dope lowrider scene that you in? Like, Something real low key, Chicago. Really? I thought you would have said like Vegas or something like that. I, I, I don't bet. think they low key, but I thought that would have been the mm. next place is Vegas. But Chicago? Outside of LA, <clears throat> I've been to LA and their, their scene is. How did you feel? It was at that time, the last time you just went. Yeah, yeah. When I, when Tell I, me about that experience. That, I seen some dope cars on your feed from here. That that Friday we landed. I, Mr. Cartoons literally when I'm on the freeway is the first person I saw. Anybody who knows who Mr. Cartoon is, you know he puts together some stuff. Mm-hmm. When I saw him, I was like, I'm in California. Yeah, it's gonna go down. Yeah, that's that Friday night we went to Crenshaw. I felt at home. Really. I've never seen no many black guys in the low rod in my life. Yeah. 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 What and, car is there any car club you recognize or anything? Uh Dippin', Dippin' Car Club. Other Majestic. guys uh no, I didn't see the Majexes till like that Sunday. That Sunday, okay. Dippin' really. That shout out to Dippin'. They as an outsider, they welcomed me. Oh, hey, for real. who's this guy? You know, hey, come here and just talk to me. Mm-hmm. So you fit to get you one? I was like, actually I got one. It's like, oh, for real? I showed him. He was like, man, that's clean. To me, that was just like, <laughs> I'm welcome. Yeah, because you, know? you got the, that West Coast recognition yeah. that, like, people out here can tell you your stuff clean, but they ain't seen yeah. what clean is. All right. My clean, it's, to them, that's, that's okay. Mm-hmm. I've seen a car primered out, full chrome undies, interior done. He was like, man, it's my hoopty. I was like, yo, hoopty? I said, bro, you got chrome undies? Full frame. What's Chrome Mondays for chrome the people Mondays. that don't understand the low Chrome rider. Mondays is a uh, Chrome Springs, uppers and lowers Chrome. Everything on your steering Chrome, under the hood Chrome. Anything you could think of is chromed out. Whole suspension setup is chromed. Is, is, is chrome. Trail yeah. arms, uh, everything. Uh, ladder bar, <laughs> everything. And me, I'm not into the chroming. One, I don't like. I don't want to be under that cleaning. It's, to me, you it just doesn't. Want to be right. I just want to go. Mm-hmm. It it makes the car, but it's not actually what makes the car go. It's just it's like um, <laughs> Beyonce putting on big hoop earrings. She don't need them, but it make her Beyonce. Yeah, <laughs> she don't need them. Yeah. she has them. I always say your wife should have something nice too. That she gonna be out there riding just as much yeah. as you are. Yeah, right behind me, one two, <laughs> unless she's at work. So one two combo. It seems like you ain't got no excuse for not for, for not riding. Uh, like I said, it's a it's a stress reliever, man. Mm-hmm. There's so much stuff going on. Uh, when we got the house, before we got the house, I was like, a man should always have something nice in his garage. Yeah. Or something he's working on. It's, that's his peace of mind. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, you're having a bad day. It's, Go tinker out oh, in the yeah, garage. You know, you're going to get a headache because something's going to snap or just, this don't fit. But hmm. It's cool, you know. It's, How have you been working through that? Because I know that's been like a big headache for me is is when you think you got something figured out and then you get those parts together and everything like, you thought about okay, is wrong. Okay, like uh, recently I bought on her car, I bought some fillers 
for the for the Cadillac. You know, more, mm, everybody the bumper fillers. Yeah. And stuff. Everybody's missing. I mean, I bought some some fiberglass one. I hated it. Nothing fits like original parts. I, I recommend original parts always. Mm, OEM yeah, parts. REM parts oh, all man. the time. They fit so perfect. I, I snatched one off like a, a '80s. They're the same thing. You just drill two holes and you mm-hmm. have a '90. And I, I put it on there. And I just, the relief was just like yes. You know, mm-hmm. I have this piece. Like that's one of the last pieces I need before I, you know, I get ready to prep and paint. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just couldn't have nothing fiberglass. Like, mm-mm. so in the paint stages, what's the stages that you you kind of hate the most? Me, I, I don't like blocking. I hate blocking. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, that's that's a four door car and getting in a lot of lines, yeah. a lot of lines and gaps to I, make I, sure it's right. I've now, blocked, are you? Going through a full gapping process on this no, one? No, everything on that car is straight. Straight already? Okay. Yeah, I didn't even... I'm not taking the doors off because it's just me. Mm-hmm. You know, it, those doors are heavy. You ain't lying. <laughs> four of them. Not two of them. Yeah. Just four of them. And you got the whole door frame and stuff around yeah. it, too. But uh, the, luckily, that frame work is already done. It's already reinforced. So oh, okay. That, that cuts on suspending. It has... It already has a setup for three-wheeling. She doesn't want it, but... It's already there. Why not use it? Oh, but you're going to leave it. Though. I'm going to leave it. It's up okay. to her. Just in case you drive it. it. Yeah, just in case you drive it. Oh. <laughs> That's what they say that on camera, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. Let it out. I'm going to put a little little spice to it if I do want to get in it. But at the same time, I want her to enjoy it. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, she's not scared of the car. I've seen cars with way too much power, like 15, 16 batteries. That's... So overkill. Now, now, why is that too much power? Like, like explain, what do you mean by too much power? It's just literally way too much power. It's just the, the quick movement. And, you know, mm. you accidentally hit a switch. I've, I've actually done that on the freeway before. You actually hit a, the wrong switch. Oh, I never thought. You're, on, you're in this lane already. You're trying to catch it. Like, um, my first car was an 85 Monte Carlo on switches. So I was still new to it. And I had a box. And little man always rides with me, you know. He tapped the switch and I went. Oh. He hit the corner, so mm-hmm. I dipped. And you know, I got to catch the corner. Yeah, to to kind of straighten, straighten it back, back up. up. But if it's happening instantly and you wasn't expecting yeah. it, you can be in another lane. It's a whole. See, that's something I found new. You taught me something uh, yeah. today. I never knew that. It's, switches are fun and dangerous. Like me, I don't have my uh, my my trunk latch is not on. Why uh, is that? Again, I don't like electrical. Mm-hmm. There's a fire. I don't want to be dependent on. I got to get out. Hit a trunk. Put it in park. Hit this button or go back there with my keys and try to hurry up and unlock it. No. I throw it in park and I'm back here with my fire extinguisher. Quick. Mm-hmm. To solve the problem quickly. So how do you keep your trunk down? It stays down. Unless I hit a bump or two. You'll see it flop mm-hmm. up. Man, Did you I, have to take the uh, tensioner bars off the back? It's still on. I want to take them off, but... Or did you move them down on the notch? Oh, or they move, like, just I mean, they, down. They, they, they move on their own. My trunk is pretty heavy. Yeah. It, it stays down. 79. Okay. okay. It stays down. It's an original trunk. I mean, so. 80, excuse me. Yes, yeah, an 80. Only thing I've done different was um, the taillights. They don't curve. I, I, didn't, I want you to see the whole car. I want you to see the body lines on the car. Okay. The front clip is changed to a 79 because uh, a guy in the club, his car was at a shop, and they literally cracked his front front clip mm-hmm. and there's there was no fixing that yeah i was like you know what take mine mine's perfect condition just give me the 70 may 79 i'll take it it's fine hmm. and i got that from missouri that was fair yeah yeah i mean you know i'm just looking out for you man, you know decent. just buy it and i'll pay for the shit that was, yeah that's yeah all it was. okay that's what's up so you're helping out while yeah. you you're getting help yeah you know mm-hmm. i and i don't like double i don't like double headlights hmm Oh yeah, the 80. yeah. The eighty has double headlights. headlights. Yeah. I forgot. I got the one block. Yeah, and that's the why. best ones to yeah. convert to the ninety. If you put the ninety front end clip on them, mm-hmm. just like they do. <laughs> there's a, there's a guy actually from Homestead, uh, Keldrick. He has that's where my sunroof comes from. He has a Cutlass. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw his sunroof. Is that electric or is it? It's a lo- electrical. Okay. So it came out of an old four Mini Cooper. Mm-hmm. And that's the biggest you can go in that car. Is a Mini Cooper top, yeah. so in a in a set eighty G body or is that any G body? Um, there actually I didn't know there's a difference on the tops. The Cutlass and the Money, the tops are a little bit smaller. You you can't really tell 
but they're a little bit smaller. Because mm-hmm. on his roof, he has about that much space in the back. Mine, I got plenty of room. Mine mm-hmm. sits right in perfect. But yeah, I saw it from his, and I was like, I got to have that sunroof. Mm. <laughs> what's, what's about that sunroof that you like that much it, about it? It goes again with riding at night. You know, you, you open your sunroof. And just, I don't have a drop top, so yeah. slide the roof back. And mm-hmm. Just get to look up and get stars. It's, it's perfect. Did you ever think about doing a, like a T-top conversion on there? Nah. Just just the sunroof. One of the plans was to chop the top. Oh, boy. Let's talk, like, complete Complete top. chop top. But I was like, nah, you know, I, was, I don't want to be stuck in the garage while it's raining. You know, sometimes I want to just go out. Oh, okay. But if I get caught in the rain, I'm, I got to sit at the gas over, station yeah. and wait till it blows over. And it's Houston. There ain't no telling how long it's going to take. That was one of the options. The other option was a uh, convertible top. The mm-hmm. LeBaron top on top of it. I found the top. So which top fits on there? The LeBaron. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. The LeBaron is the perfect Shout top. <laughs> yes. Now everybody knows. He's giving this sauce up. Uh, so the LeBaron is a perfect top perfect. For, for the conversion on that one? Perfect. If it, it, it looks like you didn't even take it off. Yeah, because that's one of the things that I, I never really liked about convertible G-bodies. Yeah. It don't look like you it's belong. You the wrong top, and it looks... It's trash to me. Mm-hmm. I seen guys use El Dorado tops. Yeah, and then it, it's just that they try to mimic that back flat line, but it just it don't look good. It looks like Kodak Black has that that cutlass, and yeah, it's terrible, man. Mm. Sorry, Kodak, but that's <laughs> terrible, bro. <laughs> that's terrible. It's square, and that's it. I can draw that basically. <laughs> like some when you're in kindergarten, you drew a car. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. that's ugly. Okay, so the but, LeBaron top. Yeah, LeBaron top is the way to go. I've learned that from Flacco. Shout out Flacco. That guy, he gives me a lot of free game, too. Yeah, yeah. He has two that, oh, man. Who's, who's Flacco? Ed? Flacco also has a 79 money. He has a, this one's gold, the other one's black. I believe his brother Shane has one as well. Mm-hmm. He had, actually, he had a. These are the Houston Cats. Yes. He had a cutlass, I believe, factory drop top. A, what year? I think it's I could be wrong. I want to say eighties, but it was a factory drop top. It wasn't that many of them made. Hmm. Is it, well, this what's, must, what's his name on Instagram? Uh Instagram I don't know, but Shane. Oh. I'll send you his info later. So somebody it's sold tag him, him, tag yeah, him and yeah, get yeah, him. Yeah, I want to see that shop. car. That car's sold, I believe. Oh man. It's one of the ones I wish I would love to see mm-hmm. him finish. But the other two, they're they're flawless. Okay, okay. Flawless. Ah, nobody's messing with you. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. <laughs> All right. I just want to know what y'all got going on here. Like personal wise, like what what's sh- what we building? You no, know, like something out the box you would love to do. Something like there there's stuff out the box that I love to do and I've actually made the purchase of the out the box thing. People have seen it. I've purchased that truck. Okay. So I purchased a 34 Okay, I remember Ford. you. It was in the story. Yeah, I purchased a 34 Ford, and that's going to be the... Grocery getter. <laughs> yeah, if that's what you call it. It's uh, Hopefully, that's my acting bad card. What's wheel-wise? Where are you going? That's a good question, X. I mean, it's a truck. You got to... I mean, you call it a your grocery beard. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be slammed to the. Please put scrape plates on that thing if you slam it to the ground. It's gonna be. Uh, he's joking. I'm serious. No, he's joking. <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> wheel wise, we're gonna have to go something unique and special. Uh, three piece. Nah, I don't think I need to go three piece. I really don't care for. I don't want to be putting air in tires. All the time, uh, three piece rims look good, but a billet set of rims let everybody know you ain't playing around, yeah. yeah. So that probably be the route on there. Uh, I want to, I want to start getting into a, a, a design where it's more just me, just this shop's design of what we want, no one else's input, just what we say we want and make it bad enough where somebody may want it. So that's going to be the next pushes out of the shop is to elevate to that next level of our build quality and starting to go into 
making sure we producing it as much as we can, taking control of like all of that. So we got a we got a lot of work ahead of us, but we got a dope team and we're ready to start building on some stuff. And you, you're the first person to get to hear that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I should have been recording. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I mean since I thought we was since since the G Body group is pretty much how I met you. When you posted the Regal, I was like, okay, who is this guy? Yeah, uh, that, that that was my like. How did he do that? So, I give you a little more on on that car. I had seen a guy with a black uh, Grand National that he had did it to, and it was a write up. Now, this was years and years ago, before I even had my T type. And I was like, man, this dude is dope. I, uh, and actually, I'm, I'm friends with him on Facebook. I can't remember his name right now, but um, I looked at that build and I was like, man, one day it'd be dope if I could figure out how to do that. That formula is. And um, after that, after I had got my car, something just kept telling me, man, just Terry, go ahead and try it. And I completely forgot about the ad, all of the stuff that I read about it or anything. And then I just went ahead and tried it. And then I posted it. And the actual guy that did it the first time, he's the one that was like, man, good job on this. And I was like, man, you really inspired me to do this. And then as I was going through the build process, I've met a lot of dope people from it. I met a guy in Vegas, Melo. Uh yourself but they, it was a guy in vegas he reached out he had did a cut list and he was he let me know man if there's any help that you need on there just give me um, a call he, and, and that's his name is avenue Vert. he does yeah, yeah he does all the tops man like, that, till, till the t and it's I'm, perfect I'm, I'm gonna get him on the show yes but man when it comes to tops and he he's just a dope dude and he'll sit back and talk to me i never really asked much about how to do something because i wanted to fit like how you say i wanted to really figure, figure it out on my own but it felt good that I was going to have somebody there on the back end. If I knew if I got messed up on something that I, I could call, call and say, get that taken care of. And then that's like during that time is when like you met me and I was just starting to kind of mm-hmm. piece that, get that finished. And the shop started building up. And from there, I put my car on the back burner. Yeah. It's <laughs> time for me to start getting back to my car and getting some of the other steps taken care of because I never wanted it just to be. Oh, Terry's the guy that put a a top in a, uh, I mean, a aero coupe glass in a Regal. I didn't want that to be the end point of, of my car. To that's, me, that's the most impressive part was you getting the glass on there. And, I, and to me, that was, to me, where I want to be at build-wise, I want that to be the least impressive yeah. point. Everything else, oh, that, if nobody's seen that car, <laughs> oh, my God, you have to come see this car. It's I'm checking I don't out. care what else comes out here. That car is my favorite. Uh, that's yeah. my favorite thing. I don't care what you yeah, do. It, it, that car, it um, it took a lot of time yeah. and, uh, and stuff to figure out. A lot of uh, a lot of figuring out like your confidence level. Mm-hmm. Like how were you going through? Like man, just getting past that next yeah. step. But I avoided so many pro- uh, steps on that car for a while because I got in there, got the window in, and everything, yeah. and then. It, you know, I'm thinking I'm the man at this point because the glass was the big thing, but the hardest part was really that trunk. Trunk. You know, because what the Regal trunk is, what, maybe three, four feet long? Yeah. And I think an Aerocoupe trunk is maybe a foot and a half. So I had to cut all of that stuff out and figure all that out, everything out. And I didn't have a go-by See, manual. I completely forgot See, this- that somebody had built that car and had a whole go-by. I could have read it. But I was trying to prove the point so bad to myself that I went ahead and probably did it the hard way. Yeah, that's that's car building to me. And I, like the Mopar guys, I dislike y'all. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Like, <laughs> Why? It's, it's, God. Oh it's man, it's not he fair. Really... You know, I mean, you go buy this charger and whatever off the lot, and you can tweak it with the computer. But Chevy's getting there too. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I mean, the older cars are so much better. You like, you literally have to get under there. And figure out what's wrong. Yeah, I give you, I give you an example. Yesterday, okay. Yesterday, I was driving my old truck, and it didn't what kind of truck to, is this? Old truck, 1991 <laughs> Chevrolet, uh-huh. and it didn't want to start, right? You know, but in a newer car, you'll be like, man, I gotta call a record. Yeah. Man, I popped the hood, got right up under, looked at this wire, looked at that wire, yeah. tightened this up, started right up. Yeah. It's, so this, it's just that simplicity. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy it's, to work on. Like that's a guy. <laughs> 
he was mad at me because I didn't want to touch his car. He was like, well, can you can you straighten something out? Or I was like, I don't like touching newer cars. He was like, well, why? I was like, you realize I have to take all this off to take your fender off. He was like, well, can you also change my, my headlight? I was like, no, no, thank you. It's it's they made it too difficult for you to fix these cars. Yeah, they they want you to come back to the dealership. So you have no problem saying I no to. I, 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 I would tell you no before you come up the driveway. Yeah, but so, I think that's needed. I think yeah, you need to be yeah. able to let the client yeah. know that you're not going to give them the best relationship if we go a, yeah. along this route. You should be able to control what you want to do. Like I, I love working on old cars because I I know Sunday you're gonna pull this thing out and. Who did this? Me. Mm-hmm. It helps me. So what, where could we, where could they find you at if they want to get their Sunday driver test on? I'm picky. <laughs> <laughs> you got holes? You can take it somewhere else. You can take it here. Yeah, we do do metal <laughs> yeah, work. I do a lot of metal. Uh, only because I haven't had a chance to learn how to weld yet. That's mm-hmm. the only reason why. Um, I like working on cars from the '80s and down. It's just a preference thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's better than me. Uh, like how again, far, how far back? Seventies. Seventies are cool. I'm getting ready. To, I'm getting ready to help again. My homeboy Abraham with his '67 Camaro. Mm-hmm. Mm. And muscle. Yes. And but you don't. I didn't. I didn't t- take you as a yes. muscle gun. I was or you just. Ask. Or you just giving a hand. I, I can't tell him no. Okay. You know that's. He wouldn't tell me no. Mm-hmm. You know, and anything he needs, I got you. Okay. It's the same way. It's just, that car, he, um, he has one of the rare ones. So I'm going to leave it at that. The the packages that car came with, there's not that many. And so he's still in the build process. Yeah, that, does he have the car? As, well, as he a has it. He has everything and everything. He, came, he actually came over last night. He's like, look, I ordered this, 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 and that. I was like, he's okay. like, he's like I don't know, when I pick you up, is there anything that you can tell me about that setup? Like it has motor wise suspension. It has the original color code. Oh, he that serious about it. That's what X you ain't tell the people where they can find you at. Just hit me up on Instagram at last name <laughs> bell. We can have a conversation about yeah. what you got. That's, yeah, there you go. Folks. I I don't mind telling you yes or no. hmm It just comes with the territory. Open your pocket because it's just me. You pay for what you get. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I give you I give you every ounce of me because I don't like nobody talking bad on my name. First person I heard came sit down in the seat said that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I give you everything I got. If if I do anything wrong, don't don't talk down on me. It let allow you to make up for it. I, I'll fix it. I I'll give you everything I got, pretty much. That's what's up. That's, That's what's up. up. Okay. Yeah. Here, you gotta wrap it up. Hmm? Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Custom Car Media. Please be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button, and please leave a comment. If there's anyone out there with a custom car that wants to get their car promoted or even noticed, get at us. Thank you. All right, y'all.